Hey guys, today's church media tip is brought to you by Subsplash. The Subsplash platform has everything you need to stay connected to your community. Custom mobile apps, sermon delivery, websites, and more. You can get a special discount, only pay $49.99 a month with no setup fees for Subsplash Core with our special 1230 discount. You can check that out at 1230.media forward slash Subsplash. 1230.media forward slash Subsplash. Fantastic deal and a great discount for your church. 1230.media forward slash Subsplash. All right, today's church online tip is this. Have a backup plan. Now, something is going to happen. It's going to crash. Something is going to break. Something is not going to work the way that you had planned. Might as well just accept it. It's going to happen. So here are some questions to ask yourself before an emergency. All right. What if we live stream our service from our uh, from our auditorium and our stream goes down what if there are problems with our streaming provider on sunday what if one of the platforms that we stream on isn't connecting the way that we thought it should what if facebook or youtube flags our content and shuts down our stream just some questions to consider okay so let me give you a few things to try that could prevent your world from crashing. Number one, I would have a backup service as one complete backup service, the entire worship experience ready to go. And if something is not connecting right in your auditorium, the absolute worst case bail to scenario could be that you could stream that video of an older service to your streaming platforms. Not ideal, totally admit that but it's better than no service at all. So a complete backup service. Maybe it's last week's service, maybe it's a pre-recorded generic message and generic worship that you can use at any time, but piece together one complete worship experience and have that ready online as a backup that you can send people to that video if your world completely crashes. Again, not ideal, but it is a solution. So you have something that you can air. Okay, number two, have the support number for your streaming provider handy and know exactly who to call if something goes down. Now, I would have two to three places that you can already, uh, that you can go to and you can put it uh, so that you can get to it very easily, uh, like, a, uh, like two places, like a phone number and then their online chat service. So have two places that you can go to talk with somebody at your streaming provider, uh, you know, at their uh, at their support level, um, so that you can talk to them very quickly. Now, the less you have to search for that in a crisis, the better. So have that on a notepad, have that uh, in a checklist somewhere. Know where to go if your streaming provider goes down. Number three, I would strongly suggest you stream your service to multiple platforms. So send it through your streaming provider but also stream as a premiere or live to Facebook and YouTube. It gets your service to the most people at once, but it also helps with a backup plan so that you can say, hey guys, we're having some technical issues with Facebook today. We would love for you to check us out on YouTube. So go here or you can go to church.com forward slash live. So you have multiple areas that you can send people to if one of your streaming providers uh, or platforms rather go down. All right, number four, if Facebook or YouTube flags your content, you might not be able to stream on that platform that day unless you tell them that you have permission to stream the content that you're streaming. Uh, And honestly, it's a toss up on when they will respond to you and get get you back up and running. So I would not trust that. Uh, The best thing to do here is to make sure that you have all your licensing in place before Sunday. So if a platform flags you, you have your documentation ready if needed and you can get it back up and running as soon as possible. All right, so my church online tip for you today is have a backup plan. For more church online tips and resources, you can visit 1230.media forward slash church online. Well, God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next video.